Y'all, I said I was done with this whole Robin and Juan situation, but apparently I'm not. Apparently, I just can't quit it because the alleged mistress is now doing some talking. So we got to talk about everything that she said in her in in her interview. It was a recorded conversation with Giorgio says the original entertainment reporter that actually talked about the story on was it TikTok as well as on his YouTube channel. So. I will put the link to this new video down in the description down below for those of you guys who have not yet seen it. You guys can listen to it it's in, it, in its entirety, but we're going to talk about some snippets of it here, as well as what Tamar had to say about this entire escapade. So if you don't know what's going on, let me catch you up real quick. Um, this woman has come forward alleging that she and Juan had a relationship during the pandemic. Um, she flew down to the Maryland and she got a hotel. She spent some time with him. But apparently a friend of his ended up freaking her out when he exposed himself to her. And so she left the situation never to return again. No word on why it is that she has chosen to come forward now. I don't really know why she has, but she has. So Robin last week got up on her uh, podcast and told the world that Juan was being an idiot. But she told a very different story about Juan you know, go into the hotel, put in the hotel room in his name because the woman did have a receipt with the hotel in his name, as well as the fact that this woman had allegedly lost her wallet, according to Robin. This is what I believe Juan told her. So she says the woman lost her wallet when she was coming down to visit a Baltimore Ravens player that she was dating. And when she lost her wallet or it was stolen or whoever got it, she needed Juan to come and pay for the hotel. And so Juan, being the good Samaritan, went and paid for the hotel, yada, yada, yada. You're all caught up, caught up now. Now, that story did not make not a lick of sense, not to me, nor to Tamar, nor to most of y'all out there. However, who cares? At the end of the day, that's their relationship. If she wanted to stay with him, she should. However, it is the, the mistress is now saying that that was all a lie, okay? So here is what she said in a recorded conversation with Giorgio Says. So she apparently was, the mistress was the one who reached out to Juan. She had no idea where Robin's Ravens story came from because she wasn't dating a Ravens player. She had no other reason to go to Maryland but to see Juan, okay? That was it, but to see Juan. And she had been talking for him for at least a year, and she couldn't even cross the border because of the border restrictions in Canada. Because this was, again, during the time of the panorama, and Canada had different border restrictions, right? So it was apparently a mutual decision that they wanted to see each other when the restrictions were lifted. So that is why she came down. They had talked on the phone, and they FaceTimed all the time, according to this young lady. Now, Robin's story is very different because Robin says that they just, he, Juan had no interaction with her when she came down here and he just paid for the room and left. Well, what was the plan when they were in Maryland? She was supposed to, the mistress was allegedly supposed to meet him at the hotel and get settled in, right? And she says that it's outrageous that Robin said, that Juan was only there to pay for the room because none of that made any sense. She said she and Juan did hang out while she was here. And she feels like Juan gave Robin the story that she's been telling, like the, the story that she told Andy Cohen about the Ravens player and all that, because even that doesn't make any sense. Because if you think about it like this, if the woman had been going to see a Ravens player, if she lost her wallet, why wouldn't she contact him instead of Juan? So anyway, um, she asked, uh, she was asked, was it clear that Robin and Juan were in a relationship? And here's where things get sticky. She says that he told her that the relationship was strictly for TV. It was for the fans and for the paycheck and that they needed to do it for TV. He made it clear that he has respect for Robin, but it wasn't a real relationship. It was more like co-parenting and being best buddies. Now, this does jive with what people are interpreting as Robin and Juan's chemistry on the scene, uh, well, on the screen, I should say. And so for, I think most of us, we're all kind of like, mm, this is why we are having a hard time with this. Because if you're telling us that you are getting married and it's really only for the show, then I don't want to see that. I would rather see whatever re real life 
thing you're going through. If that's just co-parenting with Juan, I would rather see that, but I don't need to see something that's made up if that's the case. So apparently Robin had insinuated that the girl had sent a request for $4,000. So the question was, was she trying to bribe or blackmail them? The girl says, no, in this year of 2023, I'm not sure about 2022 or 2021, but she says in this year of the Lord in 2023, they don't even have Zell in Canada. So that was not true. Um, she says she wishes that Robin would have thought more about the story before she tried to tell it. So she did not request $4,000 from Juan. She also says that when she stopped talking to Juan, um, it was because the friend came to the door and ex exposed himself. She didn't hang out with a friend, like Robin said. And once that happened, that incident happened, she felt violated and naive. And now she's and she would wanted to make it clear that she's not into that kind of thing. She also um, that she thought that in talking to him in the year that she did and getting to know him, she knew him better than that. But of course, you're only having conversations with someone. So how would you know them all that well? So she felt like he had just kind of passed her off to the friend. And she was shocked that that happened. So Giorgio does ask, did things go further than what? Did things get intimate, basically? And she says she's not here to hurt Robin. She's not a malicious person. So she's not going to go into those types of details. But he didn't just get her a hotel and say goodbye. OK, so that leads me to think that something probably happened. I mean, I think most of us have probably figured that anyway. She thinks that Robin and Juan should just admit what happened versus telling these stories and adding things to the stories. She says they should just be real and speak the truth and don't add lies in there. My, my suggestion would have been just don't say anything about it at all, Robin. It's one thing if the woman was, it's, I mean, the woman can say whatever she wants to say, obviously. I mean, there, there could be consequences for that. But at the end of the day, it's really, it would have been Robin's word against hers if Robin had never said anything. But Robin told us these stories that just don't ring true. So that's why it all comes across like, girl, I just, I just think you should stop, you know? The 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 ball has gone too far down the court. Like I it just it just just let it you just don't say nothing else. Don't say nothing else. Don't respond. Don't say nothing. Just fade into the background for a second. You know. Now somebody else who was not believing Miss Robin was Tamar. Oh no. Tamar was not believing Miss Robin Dixon. Tamar says this. It's early, but are we going to talk about Robin on Watch What Happens Live? Do we believe the hotel story? She says, my theory must be different to me. If To me, if a man pays for a hotel room for another woman, he smashed. Or he would have told his woman about it when it happened. But obviously, talking to other women is just embarrassing to Robin, and it is not a deal breaker. And that's where we get it twisted. She should just say that, because in your 40s, when someone cheats, you are more reluctant to throw it all away and start over. Just say that. I don't want to start over instead of acting slow and pretending we are dumb. It's the acting slow and pretending we're dumb for me. Um, Tamar did not mince words and she did not hold back. Are you in agreement with Tamar? I kind of am to us. Like, I mean, for the most part, yeah, yeah, no, I am in agreement with Tamar. I mean, this whole thing would have made much more sense if, you know, she had just simply said, listen, you know, we are co-parents and we're doing the best that we can. You know, I'm trying to show as much of my real life as possible. He's not really willing to film all that much because if you, if you think about it, now what? Even if I think it was Carlos King who said on his latest video that he would have a serious sit down Ponderosa with Robin and Juan and find out, you know, what are they willing to share? And I just don't know that he's going to be willing to do that. I just don't think that he is personally. But that's just me and my thoughts and my opinions. Um, you guys let me know what you think is going to happen. Because my thing is, if he's not really to, willing to film that much now, show up to the reunion, show up to events or whatever like that, he's definitely not going to be willing to talk about any of this. Okay? It just wouldn't make any sense. Especially now 
that the, the story is out there and it sounds so cockamamie. Why would he ever have what incentive would he have? And plus, he's not being paid for it. So at the end of the day, it's like unless Robin's paycheck is just so good that they it could pay all of their bills and expenses. OK, um, I don't know that I would do that, but that's just me. And I definitely don't see him doing it. So at this point, it is what it is. I think that Robin, again, should just at this point in time, just let it go. Don't say nothing else about it. Ignore it all. Do like Giselle does and cash your check and call it Christmas, you know, period. Um, we got to talk about one more thing real quick because it's been floating around and I've been trying to find some time to talk about it. But we have been so busy with Potomac stuff that it has just not been able to. Um, I have not been able to find a way to work it into a video. So we got to talk about Simone. OK, we got to talk about what's going on with Married to Medicine, because to me, this is some more tea. So let's get into what we got to what we got to get into. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. I got to share the screen. So Simone popped up on her Instagram. Let me blow it up for you. And she posted a photograph and said, what a, a fun night. Oh, excuse me. It says a night of fun and ish talking. Hashtag married to medicine. Hashtag get ready. Hashtag the F. Hashtag just when you thought. Now, let's get into it. Who's pictured in this photo? Well, it is Dr. Simone and Cecil. And it is, oh, who is this? Dr. Gregory and his bride-to-be. Mmm. 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 Dr. Contessa commented and said, cuties. Now, this to me is fueling speculation about this cash shakeup that we have heard about that the uh that the NBC Universal executive said, or was it the Bravo? I think it, it, Bravo or NBC Universal. I can't remember. I will pull it up, but y'all saw it the other day. Now, they, we knew about a cash shakeup. We knew about the possibility of Phaedra coming. So, I mean, this would be interesting right here. This would be very, very interesting. But it, again, it I feel like the cast is, is giving us little clues. Dr. Heavenly posted that photo with just the five of them. Now Simone is posting this with Dr. G. I mean, I'm wondering where what is Quad thinking? You know, and will Quad would would this even phase Quad if Dr. G and his woman were on the show? What do you guys think? I mean, again, to me, I think they know what they're doing. They fuel in speculation. And I think that this is going to end up being a crazy season if they do what I think they're about to do. Let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section down below. I'm super excited about Married to Medicine. And if any more news pops off, best believe we will talk about it. And again, all links will be in the description of this YouTube video, and I will catch you in the next video.